Step number 25 is recovery schedule. Uh, we talked about a recovery schedule earlier in different videos. However, um, I want to go into it a little bit further. Now you can see here we have uh, the schedule with the fragnet thrown in there. Um, so we'll go ahead and close the fragnet. We know at this point that you know when we do a recovery schedule, the recovery schedule, it's important to understand, you only want to do a recovery schedule when you as the contractor are at fault uh, for the delay. So we don't want to recover time you know, because the owner did something or didn't or did do something. Um, we don't want to recover time if there's changes that occur that are not our fault. We only want to recover time and we should only recover time and, and only do a recovery schedule when uh, the uh, when the blame lies on our shoulders and our shoulders completely so um, we are uh, taking an existing schedule the schedule that that we use to kind of put a fragment together this is a schedule update and you'll see within the schedule update itself uh, we have you know um, we have you know the update of of the you know the last scheduled we've done a fragnet and now you know um, we you know we're gonna go through and try to recover some of this time so now that we know it's it's you know our blame we have to recover the time we're gonna do three things now there are three different options here or actually four uh, first one is, is we can change the relationships we can make things from a finish to start to a start to start which usually is the the most common kind of relationships we can use a finish to finish from a uh, from a finish to start um, so there's a couple different ways we can change relationships and we can reduce the amount of time think about it in this way we can the more stuff we do at any point in time the quicker we get something done and that's what we're doing with changing relationships that's number one number two is we can add additional resources so we can double crew sizes we can increase their availability work weekends work off time uh, stuff like that um, you know uh, and then the third thing is is we can change the materials or we can change the means about going about doing things so the last two are really tough and we won't go into that here uh, so we're going to talk about the first two and the first two are changing relationships and uh, adding additional resources so what we need to do first and foremost is we need to go down to the very very end and look at the CCD okay we have a negative 27 days which shows us we're 27 days over the contract completion date so we need to pull back 27 days so we want to go and we want to look for opportunities to do that so uh, let's look right here exterior still stud framing we want to look activities that that have um, long durations right uh, longest durations possible because they have the greatest opportunity to affect it affect the critical path uh, which is longest path to the network we only want to focus on critical path activities that have long durations because uh, you know focusing on an activity that has a green bar like you see there is not going to affect a critical path so want to fo want to focus nothing but on the critical path now remember the critical path will change so say in this case here we're going to exterior still flood, uh, stud framing maybe if we double the crew size you know maybe if we got 10 people off out there uh, you see we have 20 there man 20 mandates we brought 10 people uh, excuse me we we had 10 people per day we could get it done in two days so say that we talk with our subcontractor and we're able to get additional resources and flood the job site for those two days we can increase productivity you notice we move from 27 to 24 um, so that's that's one way uh, the other way could be is let's go through here under slab uh, plumbing rough in now we have strip and backfill uh, column footings. Now, do we have to wait till stripping and uh, you know till the the strip and backfill the con column footings in order to start a rough in plumbing? Not necessarily. We could simply just say, okay, we'll do a start to start, meaning we could start at the same time. All right, so that reduced it by one day, and we're going to continue to go through the schedule. 
you know, by changing relationships, adding additional resources. And remember, we can't just arbitrarily do this. We actually have to talk with people. Maybe we talk to the fabrication people. Maybe we can get them, you know, the uh, the anchor bolts in two days instead of five days. We don't. We're not arbitrarily just changing that number. Now you can see the roll-up door is uh, it has a long lead time. They're saying 30 days. Maybe you talk with them and you pay them a little bit additional money, and you're able to get it done, say, in 10 days. And so you can see a, and see how the critical path changed. That just got removed from the critical path. Um, and then you know a, you know submittal reviews, anchor bolts drawing review. Um, that's going to take 10 days. Um, maybe we t we uh, uh, you know look at that that one doesn't look to be moved up much what about anchor bolt submittals maybe we don't need to to uh wait till 100 percent plan review done that's why we moved the start to start maybe we don't need a day of lag so we're changing relationships uh we're changing um we're changing durations and we're going to continue to do so you know you can see this you know reviews are in the way right now um Maybe we can talk with the owner and they'll review things quicker of these submittals or prioritize these submittals to be done quicker. And the ultimate goal is to get our contract completion date down to zero. Uh, we're recovering all the time that we have lost. Uh, drywall to hang and finish, right? Now see this has multiple different relationships on it. So we can say, okay, what's pushing it? I think it's either MEP or rough in overhead doors, right? So do we need to have those done? Um, uh, before hanging drywall, yeah, for that, but not for rough and overhead doors. But we can change the relationship there. It changes the critical path, but it doesn't change the float, right? The negative float. So we're going to go through the schedule again and again, changing relationships, reducing durations by adding additional manpower or uh, or other means. Okay. So we're going to do that until we come up. If we get to a point, and this is a mistake I made, if we get to a point where we've done everything. And we're still negative 20 days. At that point, we just need to go to the customer and say, "Listen, we've done everything we can, uh, so we're uh, we're just going to finish late." And that's you know we don't want to say that, but we want to be honest. You know, you can either be beat over the head once, or you can be beat over the head every single month you're doing the project. Um, in my opinion, it's best you know just to come to the table and just say, "This is the best we can do, and this is where we are." People appreciate that honesty. But that may not always be feasible either. It may terminate your contract, may cause more trouble for you. One thing I didn't mention, I talked about additional resources, but what if we also uh, increase the availability? What if we go through and we change the calendar to being a seven-day calendar, right? And if we do a seven-day calendar, uh, that could increase our, our, our availability there, you know? Uh, in that case, it didn't increase our availability. But uh, we could do that and try to increase availability, um, and maybe and, and by increasing the number of days, we can, you know, uh, things are uh, uh, people can work. We can we can do things. That's really helpful on uh, you know on activities that have weather involved with it. So that's another thing we can do is we can change the calendar around to increase availability. Uh, of resources, not just increase the resources, increase the availability to them, allow them to work overtime or work more, more, more days a week. Um, so, uh, when you're doing a recovery schedule, here is a narrative. Okay, this is a schedule delay narrative, and what we want to do is we don't only just want to change everything. As we're going through making these changes, we're going to document them. And we're going to explain exactly what we're doing. You know, what do we do? We revise the duration. Why do we revise the duration? What's what? Could, why were we able to do that? Is there a reason? Um, you want to give it an analysis of what you did. You know, how you came up with a number, how you reduced the number of duration days. It's important to document exactly what you did uh, during during your recovery. You know, whether you changed relationships, increased availability or added additional resources. Um, and I didn't mention materials, changing materials, or changing the means. But when you do all those things to reduce uh, the critical path in order to get the schedule in compliance with, uh, you know, the contract requirements of finishing on a specific date, you're going to have to document each individual step that you made. So one of the steps that I can say I made is, okay, well, 
I went ahead and reduced the prep of the footing from five days to two days because we added additional resources. I also changed the calendar to a seven day calendar. So there's a whole bunch of different things you can do. Um, and you're going to describe how you did it. Changing the relationships, you know, going from uh, we can't strip until we place, so that makes sense, right? But what if we say under slab rough in inspection? Nope, can't change the relationship there. Slab on grade prep. Uh, prep inspection, can't do that until that's done. But you see the point here is we want to go through and we want to look at the relationships. And then we want to document what we did. Because if you go do a blow-by-blow blow analysis, somebody on the other side that's analyzing it could say, hey, I'm, uh, I've looked at this and I've ran through the same analysis you could. You know, They could take that existing schedule, run through the same uh, steps you took, and come up with the same answer. Uh, it's very common that people will try to pull the wool over people's eyes when it when it comes to you know delay impacts so we want to make it and want to spell it out clearly so you know they know exactly what we did we clearly and concisely uh, documented what we did and why we did it so that someone could independently do that uh, the important thing on the uh, on the recovery schedule is simply just to uh, if you're gonna own if you have to own the delay figure out a way we can get it done you know and as I talked before those four ways are the only way you can done if you use utilize all those four ways and in the end it still can't get done then it can't get done <laughs> you know it's really that simple um, so we just need to be able to be honest and straightforward um, you know and looking at uh, looking at that so remember we only want to recover time that we lost due to our delay and uh, there may be a concurrent delay in there, but we have to own the time that we lost. So um, ultimately, we have to be able to recover the time. Some people will ask me, well, is it common that you have to recover your time? And almost every schedule update that we do, we end up recovering some time at one point or the other. So it is a common thing. It is very, uh, very indicative of what occurs. Um, um, you know, uh, on typical construction projects. So don't be, you know, fearful if it, um, you know, happens to you because you're going to have to recover that time at sooner or later. So once again, document, 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 document what you did, how you did it. And when you name it, you name it as a recover schedule. Um, and uh, you'd present the schedule update and you'd present this as a recovery schedule. So recovery schedule, we're basically, you know, changing things from the original baseline, the relationships, the durations and all that stuff. It's okay to do that, but you have to acknowledge that you did do it because some people, you know, we have to have the owner an opportunity to say, okay, well, we agree or disagree with it. So that covers recovery schedule.